you know, I'm still not pregnant. I haven't gotten pregnant one time <laughs> since, since I got the implant. So that's definitely working. Shameless plug, I do have a loungewear brand. It's called Cozier. You guys are gonna love it. A lot of you have already purchased from me and I really appreciate it. So just put my little, my little website right here. Check it out, okay, before we get to this video. What's up guys, welcome back to Life of Lainey. So if you guys don't know about like almost a year and a half ago, back in November, 2019, I made a video about Nexplanon and my experience with it. If you're new here, Nexplanon is a birth control. It's a form of birth control. It's an implant in your arm. It lasts for three years. I'm on my second year currently and it's 99% effective. So I got Nexplanon back in November of 2019 and then I made a video three months later explaining how I felt and my experience and all that kind of stuff. And people have been asking for an update because I only made that like three months after I got the implant. So now that it's been like a year and a half, people want another update just to see if I'm still feeling the same way, um, if I've had any other symptoms and all that kind of stuff, which makes sense. So yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. If you guys are interested in a next one on, I recommend you watching my first video first to get all the information you need about that. Do not take my experience as how yours is gonna be. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, nothing like that. I'm just explaining my experience. All right, so let's get into it. As I said, it's been about a year and a half now since I got next one on. Has it been a year and a half? Yeah. And in that first video, I described having very minor symptoms. Like the only thing that I had when I first got it was tender breasts and my period lasted super long. It lasted like 14 days, like two weeks when I first got it. Um, and it was very irregular, which I really didn't like. That's the only thing I was like upset about was because I couldn't really track my period. It was just, it would randomly come, it would randomly not come for two months and then come back. Now my period is definitely more regular. I definitely know when it's coming now. The issue is I never know when it's going to end. It changes every single time. Before I was on Nexplanon, I only had four day periods, which was a blessing. And I knew exactly what day my period was gonna end and then I was good to go. But now it, it can last anywhere from like, five to two weeks. It's very random. I don't know <laughs> why that is or when it's gonna end. And that's the only thing that I still struggle with. I mean, that's definitely normal. Like that happens when you are on birth control, like your period kind of gets irregular, but it's just annoying. The difference now is that I know when my period's coming, um, but I just don't know when it's gonna end. But a thing it has helped me with, with my period is my PMS is not as bad as it used to be at all. Like I don't even cramp. When I, before I get my period. Whereas before next one on, I used to get really, really bad cramps before my period was coming, like the day before and the day of. I don't know if that's like common, but I literally don't get cramps anymore. And if I do, they're like super, super small, like bearable cramps that I don't even need to take ibuprofen for. So that's been a plus. I've been really enjoying that. And I also feel like my mood isn't as crazy when I'm PMSing because when I PMS, it is like, I it's the end of the world. I'm so emotional. I feel very irritated. Um, all the time, <laughs> the smallest things either upset me or make me cry. Like I know it's coming when I feel that way. And on next one on, it, I still get very emotional and I still get irritated, but it's way significantly less than how it used to be. Another negative, and I'm really not sure if this is due to the next one on because I've kind of always felt this way, but I feel like it's gotten worse as I've gotten older. I have a really sensitive stomach and really like bad stomach issues, which I need to get checked out. I just feel like I constantly feel nauseous a lot. Like. I'm very sensitive to things that I eat and like I just get nauseous super, super easily to the point where it like impacts my day. I've been taking vitamins to help that and it actually has helped. Like vitamin B12 has helped me a lot, which is usually what pregnant women take to help with their morning sickness, but I'm not pregnant, clearly. I really don't know if they're related, but I do kind of feel like ever since I got on Next One On, I've, I do get this random nausea even when I'm not on my period or even if I'm not PMSing, like it'll just randomly come. So I've been trying to watch what I eat more and like take my vitamins and all that kind of stuff, which has helped, but I can't tell if that's because of next one on or not, but I figured I would share that. If anybody else has that, let me know. Other than that, you know, I'm still not pregnant. I haven't gotten pregnant one time <laughs> since, since I got the implant. So that's definitely working. I don't feel like my mental has changed at all. Like I've, I saw a lot in my comments that People feel like they've gotten depressed off of it or they feel like their moods have gone too crazy. I haven't felt that way at all. I don't feel like my mood has changed at all or like my emotional state since going on next one on, but I do know that's very common with birth control. So that could happen to you. And if you do feel like you are depressed or that you are going crazy, 
you should get it taken out. Like, don't feel like you have to keep it in. Like, you can get it taken out. You can try different forms of birth control. You can take a break. Also, weight gain. I also don't think I've gained, well, hold on. Let me rephrase. I've definitely gained weight, but it's not because of Nexplan. It's because of this damn pandemic and I'm me sitting in the house all day. I think I've gained like maybe five to 10 pounds. But yeah, I haven't gained any weight due to Nexplan because the first year that I had it, I was still very much in shape. It was up until the pandemic hit that I was like, oh, girl, we gotta get off this couch. Once again, that's another thing that people experience a lot on birth control. Is sometimes you'll gain weight or sometimes you'll lose weight or lose your appetite. Um, it can affect your appetite, so. That's just another thing to be cautious of if you feel like you're excessively gaining weight and you don't know why, um, or you're like constantly exercising, you're just not losing weight. It could be because of your birth control. So this is more of like a follow-up video just to answer those lingering questions. But if you guys have any other questions, um, leave them down below, of course. And if you're on it or have been on an next one on before, please share your experience because everyone's is different. I know in my last comment section, it's a huge range between do not get this evil advice to, oh, I love this, I've never had any issues. Um, you know, some people are like me where they haven't had any, you know, negative symptoms besides the long period. Um, so it's a huge range and it really depends. You really won't know until you try it yourself. And just remember, you can always get it taken out. It's not stuck in your arm forever. It lasts for three years, three to four years. Um, but you can take it, you can get it taken out anytime between then. Yeah, long story short, still not pregnant. <laughs> it has worked. I don't even know it's there. Like I don't think about it at all. I don't feel it. Um, it's right here in my arm, but I literally haven't thought about it since I got it. This is not me recommending you to get it, <laughs> just so everyone's clear because a lot of people are like, oh, I wouldn't re recommend this at all, blah, blah, blah. I can't make any type of recommendation because I, it's your body and uh, you're going to react differently. So. Um, do your research, please do your research before you get this device and you know yourself better than anybody so just kind of try to figure out what's best for you because there are plenty other forms of birth control. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, check out my loungewear brand if you haven't already, Cozier, the website's right here and the Instagram. Of course, follow my personal Instagram. I'm way more active on there, but I will be back with another video shortly. For those of you who have stuck with me in my YouTube, thank you so much. I love you guys. And let me know what other videos you'd wanna see from me this year, and I'll see you in the next video.